Hey everyone, so this is actually a requested video about our Esther and Ether groups and it got me really excited because from personal experience I always found it a little bit tricky to remember which was which so today we're gonna go over their basic properties and key differences. So first up we have our Ether groups. So when we draw the general structure of an Ether it looks just like this with one oxygen atom attached to two R groups. And just as a reminder, our R groups, they are placeholders that start with a carbon, usually bonded by single bonds. So the oxygen in ethers has two lone pairs, and we don't normally draw that out because they are implied based on standard bonding rules. But in essence, the ether functional group is one oxygen single bonded to two different carbon chains. This group is derived from alcohols, and a common example of it is diethyl ether. If you look at the structure, we're going to see this oxygen sitting right in the middle, and that's our signal that we have an ether group. So some key characteristics of ethers is that they are slightly polar, but they don't participate in hydrogen bonding, so their boiling point is lower than that of alcohols. They are somewhat soluble in water, but that solubility, it decreases as the carbon chain gets longer, and they're also often odorless. Now onto our ester groups. Esters, they are a little bit more complicated. They're going to consist of a carbon that is double bonded to an oxygen, with that same carbon being single bonded to another oxygen, which is then going to be attached to another R group. Esters, they are formed from carboxylic acids and alcohols, and a well-known example is ethyl acetate, and structurally we see that COO core, that's the ester functional group. So our esters, they are more polar than ethers, which makes them moderately polar overall. Their boiling points are also higher than ethers, but it's still lower than carboxylic acids. And just like ethers, small esters are soluble in water, but as they get bigger, they become less soluble. So esters are also known for their fruity and pleasant odors, like our bananas and pineapples. And unlike our ethers, our esters, they can hydrolyze in water or acid, meaning that they are more chemically reactive. And the way that I remember the difference between these two groups is with a simple mnemonic. Ether is through oxygen, because it's just one oxygen connecting to two groups. And ester is a stronger structure, because it has that double bond and more reactivity. So let me know if you want a part 2 where we look at 3D models of molecules that have each of these groups. It really is a great way to see the difference in structure. So don't forget to like and follow for more daily science, and see you next time!